It's day four at the Farm Bower Air Show. Today we're addressing manufacturing agility and how we help the industry consume the backlog of over 8,000 aircraft. To achieve that, we've organized a round table in the chalet with suppliers to help them meet that need. Let's start with a look at the MRJ. It's been designed from the ground up uh, to meet the needs of the future airline market. I'm very proud to be part of this program. It's, it's great to see Japan uh, moving back into the aerospace industry after all these years. They're doing a fantastic job, but some really high quality engineering. I've seen uh, second to none engineering on this program. The aerodynamics of the airplane are beautiful. Enrico, can you tell me more about this magnificent bird that we're sitting in? Sure. This is not only a beautiful aircraft, it also cuts down the fuel consumption by 20% and reduces the noise by 40. So this is really a leading example for harmonizing product, nature and life. Wow. And how did MRJ get here? So for Japan building a civil aircraft, since many years. So they had not only to adapt new technologies and processes, they had also to work with the supply chain, the collaboration and the delivery. Oh, okay. Should we take off? Oh, the pilot is away. Let's go. <laughs> Coming to these round table sessions, we're able to then to pick ideas up as well. What's my approach? What's your approach? And so on and so forth. Which actually gives us great knowledge and enables us to get improved um, use from, from the systems. I think we had a great debate around what is Industry 4 going to mean, how is it going to be implemented, how do we deal with the challenges of, of legacy products, how do we deal with it top to bottom in the supply chain. You know, this is, the more you think about it, the more broad this challenge is. The more people come together to talk about it, the more they'll better understand that and, and be able to think about how they collaborate to solve things from different directions, from different aspects and think about the new world in the round. And that's day four. Tomorrow, we focus on the workforce of the future. See you then.